Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Sally Pinto and I'm from the Yonkers North, neighborhood naturally occurring retirement community. We launched back in January of 2020 and we're here to serve seniors 60 plus in Northeast Yonkers. We have lots of fun programs and activities and we also have a lot of resources for you as well. Our programs include meditation chair yoga, uh, body mind fitness, bingo, and any other programs that you might be interested in, like arts and gardening. We have our resource specialist, Alexis Smith, who can help you with finding services and activities out there for you, as well as our nurse, Barbara Simone, who can help answer your health-related questions. We're here for you, we're here for our community, and we look forward to seeing you in our programs. Enjoy. Hello, everybody. I'm Alexis Smith, the resource specialist with the Yonkers Mark. I'm here to help with application assistance, referrals for home delivered meals, and transportation services will be coming soon. We also um, offer Zoom activities and Zoom programs. And if you have any other questions or concerns, I'm here to help. Thank you so much and enjoy the program. Welcome, I'm Barbara Simone, registered nurse. I recently retired from Westchester County's health department as a public health nurse. I am now here to try to assist you with any medical, or preventive care issues. Enjoy this program and I'm looking forward to working with you. So happy to be here. I appreciate you guys. Uh, I love that you continue to travel around with me. Um, so thank you very much and I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. So let's get into a warm up. Start by sitting tall, chest upright, core tight, and we'll lean our head to the right and start to stretch out the neck. Let that opposite hand hang loose. We're gonna be here for 30 seconds. We were talking a lot about breath. Let's try to focus on our breath while we do these. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Three, two, one. Relax, roll your neck a couple times, and we'll reset the core position. Tight, upright, lean in the other direction. Here we go, 30 seconds. We have 15 more to go. Continue using that breath. Push it down into your stomach. And then slowly relax it out. Three, two, one, release. A couple more rolls. And then wherever you are, relax into your chair, hands on your stomach. We're gonna take three deep breaths together. So inhale for one, two, three, four, five, six, and exhale for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, two more. Inhale for six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale for eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Now counting on your own. Inhale for six. Exhale for eight. All right, we are gonna incorporate a bit of breathing into today's practice as well. But before we do that, let's continue to work on our warm up. So arms out to the side and just make small circles. We're gonna go for 10 forward, 10 back. Warming up the shoulders. Let's try not to bring them up here. Good posture. 
and get our legs warmed up instead of doing this one during the workout. Spend a little bit more time before it. Let's get the blood flow into our legs. And the other one. Okay. And one more time, we will stretch out the neck. So, hand over onto the side of your head. Core position, nice and upright. Here we go, 30 seconds. Fifteen more to go. Control the breath. Try to practice that six eight count on your own. Three, two, one. Relax. Let's get three neck rolls each way. And we'll go the other way. Core tight. And overhead, relax the opposite arm. Fifteen to go. Keep breathing. Three, two, one, and relax. Three circles each direction again. All right, arms out to the side again. And we'll make 10 more small circles each direction. All right, and this time, let's give a little bit of a firmer beat to the legs. And then get a couple push, push down into the skin and push it down the leg. Push the blood down the leg. All right, now pull it back up. Back towards your heart. And we'll switch the other leg. All right, and again, pushing down. It's a little bit like self massage. And then pull back up. And back, yeah. All right. Hopefully we're starting to feel warmed up. We get into a workout today. First one, we're gonna do some kundalini breathing if you've ever done yoga. So first exercise, we're gonna exhale every time we come down. So the first 40 seconds, arms will come up and then we'll bring them back down hard, fast, exhaling with a sound. Hopefully you can hear that over this microphone. Second one, do some squats, but pick different positions with your feet. And we'll go for the whole 40 seconds. Challenge yourself there. Then next one, we will be in the chair, rotating side to side. So arms up, shoulders back. Feel your erector muscles in your back. Twist you side to side. Feel a little bit of strain through your chest and shoulders. You know, them up too as well. And finally, in the chair, sitting, point the toe, flex the toe, invert, and then rotate. Out, 
find all ranges of motion and switch. Thank you. All of you who helped me adjust so you can see my feet, I appreciate you. This is where it pays off. So extend, lock the leg out, get both sides, the circle around. All right. And then we'll come around behind the chair. Next one, we're gonna have our arms out to the side. And as we pull in, we're gonna twist. So we're using those back muscles, not letting go of the core tension here, but pinching into our upper back as we turn. And then one of my personal favorites, the Cossack squat. We'll be behind the chair, but just for a demo, I'm gonna be in front. After that, get more overhead. We'll use those toe, those calf muscles and the flexion of our feet that we trained last week to get up a little bit higher this week. So we're coming up onto our toes. We're all the way up here and then relaxing down. And finally, I want you guys to do a little bit of a march. So holding onto the chair, get one leg up at a time. If you can start to move a little bit faster, that's great. If not, don't worry. Just focus on keeping your core tight. So let's look for a second. If I'm trying to bring my knee up and I start to round my back, I'm not really getting any of the extra extension or any of the extra power out of my leg. I'm just rounding my back to close the distance between my chest and my knee. So instead, keeping the chest upright, take your knee up as high as you can. So again, we'll be focusing on the core. All right, so without further ado, let's have a sip of water. Forty seconds, up overhead. In three, two, one. Here we go. Ten seconds to go. Three, two, one, and rest. All right. Hopefully, you're starting to feel the blood flow there. Next one, sitting to standing, core tight. Drive ourselves directly upwards. In three, two, one. Here we go. Sitting down, we're getting back up. Sitting down, getting back up. We gotta get another plate of Thanksgiving dinner. And then we're gonna sit down to eat it. And then we'll maybe get up to get another glass of water, and then we'll sit down and drink it. Right up and down, up and down. Best thing you can do for yourself is practice putting yourself in a whole bunch of different positions and then getting out of them. So if you want to even get on the ground. We do a bunch of fun stuff on there, but that's not for now. And three, two, one, rest. All right, next one. We'll be here, rotating side to side, focusing on core tightness, shoulder position as well. We don't want to be up here. Let's get our neck nice and long. We have five seconds. Three. Two, one, here we go. Twist side to side, slow to start. And 20 seconds remaining, maybe we can speed it up a little bit.
three, two, one, and rest. All right, last one sitting in the chair. We'll be extending that leg, practicing different ranges of motion with our ankle while we are holding our quad tight. So ready, we'll get going in three, two, one. Here we go, extend. Find all different ranges. One is feeling particularly good. If this feels really nice, keep going. Stay with that, you don't have to switch. But we'll be back to it. Get them back to it right away. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Here we go, guys. Ankle mobility, so important for balance. We have 10 seconds left. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, stand up, ground behind the chair. Arms are gonna be out to the side, and then pull them in as we twist. All right, here we go in three, two, one. Twist and squeeze. Working your back muscles as well as your core. Different planes of motion, not just facing forward, but to the side as well. This is how you we're warming up for rotating our body. So maybe the mashed potatoes are over here. We got the gravy over here. And then we got one. And we're gonna go get the other one. And three, two, one, rest. All right, Cossack squats will be next. I'll be out in front of the camera for you. Still have 10 seconds of rest left. So let's take another deep breath. Three. Two, one, and there we go. Maybe since we've been doing this one, you've started to get a little bit lower to the ground, or maybe you're just you're just moving through the movement a little bit cleaner. It's feeling a little bit more natural. Hopefully, you felt that. Yeah, it's, uh, a lot of things can feel impossible at first, but then after some practice. It starts to feel like you can do it. It's, for me, it's uh, it's an incredible experience. Five, four, three, two, one, press. So while we're here, let's focus on the different body parts. Core is tight, lower back stays loose. Glutes are gonna be quite involved in this one, quads as well. Reaching up overhead as we do so, not leaning onto the lower back. Core stays tight. And we're gonna get up as high as we can onto those toes. Three, two, one, here we go. Twenty seconds to go. Maybe we can work a little bit faster, or maybe we're just slowing the descent down, uh, using our calves, lower us to the ground, a little bit slower. But if you wanted to go a little bit faster, that's okay too. And three, two, one, rest. Starting to feel a calf burn the lip. All right, that's round one complete. Hopefully you're working on your second glass of water for the morning. 
Okay. And we'll restart in about 10 seconds. All right. And let's get those arms up overhead. Kundalini breathing for the second time. Breath of fire. I don't know about you. My head is starting to feel a little bit warm doing these. So inhale. Three, two, one. Here we go. one will be sitting up out of the chair and then stand and then or standing out of the chair sitting back down excuse me all right maybe you're feeling a little bit lightheaded and feeling like the blood is rushing around if you are then be careful standing up make sure you have a nice wide base and you're feeling stable through the entire foot three two one and here we go Twenty seconds, keep working. Three, two, one, and rest. <sighs> Calm the breath down in between each exercise. Recollect yourself. And we're going to twist. In three, two, one, here we go. Twenty seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Last one in the chair. Single leg extension with some ankle mobility. I like this one a lot. Ankle mobility has become so important in my life, especially playing sports. Three, two, one, here we go. One of my favorite things to do, sit in a nice hot sauna and get about 40 to 60 rolls in each direction with each foot and practice practice inversions eversions all sorts of fun things just with the ankles you can spend a good 10 15 minutes just doing ankle mobility if you're in a nice hot sauna everything feels so much more loose it just feels great can't wait to sit in a sauna again Another thing, this whole time is one of the many things we're missing is sauna time right now. Three, two, one, and rest. Come on around behind. And twist and squeeze at the same time. So if you're feeling like this twisting, you want to change it up. Think about changing where your feet are. Feeling like the twisting is 
doing good. It's feel like you're finding some benefit just from standing still, twisting with the arms out. And just keep doing that. And here we go. Three, two, one. So have you noticed which parts of your hip are holding you upright? You feel your quads tensing, you feel your glutes tensing as you turn, as you change the position under which you're loading them. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay. Cossack squats will be next. I'll be sideways this time. Let's see if we can get a little bit lower. It's important to remember you want that nose straight over your knee, straight over your toe. So you create a nice straight line as you go down, not rounding the back, not letting the knee fall out. Too far or in too far. Three, two, one, here we go. We have 20 seconds to go, keep working. Try to think about which muscle you're squeezing as you push yourself back up. Can you get a little bit of inner thigh in there as well? Three, two, one, and rest. All right. We'll go reaching up. Maybe this time we're getting a We've left the powdered sugar on top of the fridge or in a cabinet and we need to go get it because we've got to make Christmas cookies or cookies for Thanksgiving or anything that requires powdered sugar. I hope you guys like bacon. I like eating bacon, eating other people's bacon. And three, two, one, here we go. And 20 seconds to go. What have you noticed about this exercise? Which parts are most challenging for you? Push into that stress. We don't want to avoid it. We want to refine ourselves, make ourselves a little bit stronger each day. Three, two, one, and rest. Right. And yeah, I'm having a brain fart here. Uh, where are we? Oh, you know what? Completely forgot to march the past two rounds. So I apologize about that. We're going to make up for it, though. We're going to go for a full 80 seconds. You know, we're going to go for 74 seconds for Ginger's birthday. We're going to march. So hands on the chair. And we'll go up and then back down. In three, two, one. Here we go. I had, had a feeling I'd leave one out this morning. Went to bed far too late last night. Okay, guys. Let's see if we can get those knees up nice and high. I wish this chair was a little bit higher. That would be ideal. 
but for now, here's what we got. All right, we have 34 seconds left. Hope you guys are starting to feel a little bit of a strain through this one. Maybe you're working on keeping your core tight as you're doing it. Maybe you're working on getting that knee up a little bit higher on each one. Ten seconds left. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, now we'll get on to round three. Now that we're finally caught back up, cheers to you. All right. Round three, we're gonna start one last Kundalini breathing. Really force that exhale, feel your stomach contract as you push out. In. Three, two, one, 40 seconds. Ready, here we go. Halfway. work there. Hopefully you're feeling the benefit from that one immediately. Maybe you can feel your lungs opening up. Maybe you can feel the breath flowing into your head. We're going to sit up. We're going to stand up and then sit back down in five, three, two, one. This is our last round sitting, standing. So let's push ourselves a little bit harder. Remember, you can work on your breathing here as well. Twenty seconds to go. Ten. Three, two, one, and relax. All right, we're gonna get some spinal twists for the next one. Take a moment and three, two, one, here we go. Maybe we can push a little bit further this round. Rotate a little bit farther. Twenty seconds to go. Ten. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, last one in the chair, working on our ankle mobility. If you want to mirror it with your wrist, you can do that as well. Up to you. So three, two, one, extend, out in, make a circle. All right, 20 seconds to go, guys. Hopefully those ankles are feeling a bit looser. I don't know if anybody here does the turkey trot. 
think I'll go for a run tomorrow, prepare my body to eat some food, pretend like I'm an ancient human, and I have just ran to make a big kill. And three, two, one, and rest. All right. Let's stand up. We have four more exercises, guys. So let's put a bit of effort into these. And practice bracing the core. So especially in this one, let's put a lot of emphasis. Take our mind and put it into our core. Make sure that we're staying solid throughout. Three, two, one, here we go. Three, two, one, and rest. Cossack squats, last time. Feet are out wide. Maybe they're a little bit wider this time. Maybe your hips are starting to feel a little bit looser. You can push yourself, okay? And three, two, one. Here we go. This time, I'm going to stay low the entire time. Constant. Tension on the muscle, working through the hips a little bit deeper. Twenty seconds to go. And three, two, one, rest. <clears throat> Just getting ready here. Okay. Up onto the toes in three, two, one. Twenty seconds to go. What are you doing this round to challenge yourself? A little bit slower, a little bit faster. Core a little bit tighter. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. All right. And I think we're there, guys. I think it's time. I think it's time to march. Okay, last one. I'll turn this way for you again. And here we go. In three, two, one. Here we go. Let's get those knees up. Maybe we're moving a little bit faster this time. Now that we've had all that practice last round. And 20 seconds to go, speed it up a little bit. Not stomping the feet, coming down lightly, and then driving the other knee straight back up. Three, two, one, rest. All right, come on down to the chair. Have yourself a sip. And let's breathe. Four 
we're going to go back to that six, eight breathing that we were doing at the beginning of today. I want you to see if it feels any different for you now that you've exercised. Maybe you can take a deeper breath. Maybe you can't hold it as long. Up to, you know, there's nothing right or wrong. Just follow the same pattern. I will guide you for the first two and then we'll do two on our own after that. So eat, I inhale, exhale all the way and in for six, five, four, Three, two, one, and out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, in for six, five, four, three, two, one, out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and now on your own, in. Four, six. Out for eight. In for six. Out for eight. Let's do two more. In for six. Out for eight. Last one, deep as you can. In for six. Out for eight. Okay, and starting to come into an awareness of your body, of the room around you. On your next exhale, slowly closing your eyes. And starting to notice any sounds, any smells, any particular feeling about the body. Just noticing nothing right or wrong. I'm trying to change anything. and starting to follow the breath. So instead today of going in for one, out for two, up to a count of 10, when you go in for T, out for H, in for A, out for N, in for K, and out for S, and then restart. And as we start to pay attention to the mind, start to just let our awareness dissolve and just being at ease where we are. Considering gratitude in the back of your mind. For the next round of six inhale exhales, 
think about something or someone you are grateful for, either today or yesterday. There is, make that your time limit. For those six cycles. And then letting go of the focus on the breath and just letting your mind do whatever it wants. Just for a second. Coming back to that focus now. Letting go of any thoughts or emotions, just focusing on counting of your breath. For the next cycle of breath, take that gratitude and send it out to a family member, a loved one, a friend, somebody who you feel would appreciate it and benefit from it. With it, each exhale, sending that gratitude a little bit further, a little bit closer to your friend reaching out with your gratitude as you count your breath. And the next time you get to S, just letting the mind be free, not focusing on any one thing, just letting the mind do whatever it wants. And then bringing the mind back into the body one more time. And considering gratitude for yourself for the next six breaths, take them slow this time. Grateful for all of the hard work you've put in today, all of the healthy habits you do on a daily basis to keep your body moving, your mind and body healthy. Share some gratitude just with yourself. And on the next exhale, letting your mind be free again, one more time. 
and then starting to come back into the room, back into your seat, the weight of your body pressing down into your chair or onto the floor. Feel the weight of your hands on your lap, your feet on the floor. Noticing any smells, anything, noticing any sounds. And then finally, noticing the feeling about your body today. As we come to a close, sending gratitude in all directions, sending gratitude to everybody who puts together these classes. We are thankful for you. And then opening the eyes and will be done for today. Hi everyone, this is Z from Yonkers Public Library. Thanks so much to Sally Pinto and Alexis and Barbara from Nork. Thank you to our community partners, WJCS, the City of Yonkers Office for the Aging, Westchester County Legislator Ruth Walter, Friends of Crestwood Library, and Yonkers Public Library for making this phenomenal partnership. And we thank each and every one of you for being part of our wellness community. Be well, stay well.